And Russia's invasion of Ukraine is now in its third month. After failing to take Ukraine's capital city of Kyiv last month, Russian forces are now concentrating their efforts in the Donbas region in eastern Ukraine. But they've um, sent out some missiles all across the country this morning. Let's bring in Fox News senior strategic analyst General Jack Keane. Quickly, sir, just listen to President Zelensky yesterday. You can't come to us empty handed today, and we are expecting not just presents or some kind of cakes. We are expecting specific things and specific weapons. It was directed to the United States. Secretaries Antony Blinken and Lloyd Austin did go to visit him, sir. Yeah, well, that was absolutely the right thing to do, certainly. And, and I'm delighted that we just didn't send one of them, we sent both of them, and it certainly added to the prestige of American leadership uh, in the in the capital city. And certainly, I, I think where the Pentagon is in actually working with their counterparts, the Secretary of Defense personally involved, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs personally involved in putting together this weapons list. In the beginning, it was a push system. We were pushing weapons we thought they needed. Now it's a pull system. We're only sending weapons that they want. And obviously, they want heavy advanced weapons to deal with the changing nature of this operation that's taking place primarily in the Donbass region. And it's certainly gratifying to see President Zelensky being grateful for what the Americans have done. Also important here is the Secretary of Defense is meeting tomorrow, Tuesday, at Ramstein Air Base, where Jennifer has been reporting from. And he's bringing in 20 uh, of his counterparts, uh, foreign ministers and secretaries of defense, to talk to them about their support uh, to Ukraine. And I think that is absolutely crucial. We've been saying that from the beginning. We've got some people here in NATO and some other countries that could clearly do more and are literally half-stepping. So this is a, an important meeting to get more support beyond what the United States, uh, Britain is doing, what France is doing, to get other nations to fully commit. General, I think it's uh, somewhat significant. I think a lot of this travel on behalf of these diplomats is still done by train. And yet after they left, the Russians bombed five different train stations in central and western Ukraine. Uh, I also think the thing that's interesting is what Austin, General Austin said while he was there. Uh, here's a bit of the aftermath from one of those locations earlier today. Uh, call for number two, guys. Since Moscow invaded, we have committed $2.6 billion. Uh, so that's the tab as of today. That, that tab's going to go higher. I don't know if it's five or ten billion or beyond that. But General Austin said, we want to see Russia weakened to the point where it can't do things like invade Ukraine. From a military perspective, what, what does that mean to you, weaken to the point where it can't do things like invade Ukraine? Yeah, he's telling you that he wants the, the Russian army to be crushed in Ukraine, so they wouldn't be able to do anything like that to anybody else. And certainly that's what we're really seeking here. Putin has given us a huge opportunity that we didn't think we would have. And that is because we gave a lot more credit to his forces uh, than we actually knew in terms of the facts. And there is huge opportunity here. This is a very tough fight that's going on in the Donbass region. It's very different than what took place uh, in the capital city around Kyiv, which was a fight in the suburbs. Uh, Ukrainians were using buildings to protect themselves. Now this is open, flat terrain. It favors the, uh, the uh, attacker, whereas what was taking place in, in Kyiv favored the defender. And that's why these weapon systems are really crucial. Bill, the thing that concerns me the most is the Russian artillery. They have lots of it. And their ranges are longer than Ukrainians, not with all of them, but with some of them. And that's why we need to get artillery in there, because artillery can kill artillery using counter-battery radar to find it. Mm. And also those drones that we're requesting, they can also take down artillery. We've already seen that the maneuver forces of the Russians are somewhat incompetent, and that's why they've only made small gains. But they have made gains, and those gains can add up over time. And that is why we've got to crush their artillery as much as possible, because without that, it's very difficult for the their maneuver forces to, to make any uh, sizable advances. Oh. It is a statement that's getting a lot of headlines. General, thank you. It's good to see you. Thank you. Jack King, thanks. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. 
I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.